Hey, welcome back. So today I'll be talking about how you can link your progress image to your project schedule to demonstrate it on Power BI. I'll be walking you step by step on how you can assign an activity code to your project, get the data into Power BI and make a dynamic progress report. So let's dive into it. Here you can see we have a Gotham City water main project where I have assigned an activity code. To see that, you can go under activity codes and under project, I have defined an activity code called pictures. This is just for as an identifier for my Power BI later to link it to our schedule. You can see here, I have identified it by shaft work, tunnel work, pipe work and chamber work here. This code value is really important. So whatever code value you give here, you have to give the similar code value to your pictures, which I'll just show you in a bit. Once you do that, you need to assign it to the relevant activity for those codes. Like for the shaft work, I have assigned here the activity code and so on for each activities. I have assigned the code. Once I have done this, I have to copy this and paste it into an Excel template which will be attached under this video. You can download it and you can follow along as well. So I'll just go here under group and sort. I will remove all the work breakdown structure as I don't need them. I'll hit apply. I can copy it here. We will get the Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet. You can see here, it has three sheets here. One is program, picture, and the last is code description. So the program comes here, which has activity ID, name, duration, start and finish, and the picture, which is our activity code here. So I'll go here, paste it. I don't need the first row, I'll delete it. And this is our activity code and all the activities in here. So the next step will be to get the picture link. Now to get a picture link, we will use Google Drive for this process. We will upload the pictures on Google Drive in a folder. We will give the permission to it and then we'll paste the link here. So to do that, I'll go to Google Drives. As you can see here, I have a folder here, Power BI image. And under that folder, I have copied the image and I have renamed them to the specific activity code that image is assigned to. For shaft work, SW, for pipe work, PW, chamber work, we have CW, and for the tunneling work, we have TW. So this code has to be matched with your activity code here as SW, CW, PW, and so on. So make sure you rename the activity in a proper way. And now you need to get the link for each of this image and paste it into Excel. So to do that, I will go here, right click, go to share. Before copying the link, you have to make sure that all the link have the permission. So once you click on share, it should be anyone with the link. Anyone with the link can view the image. So this setting has to be on click on done and it has to be on for all the image like you can select all the image click on share and you can change the setting at one go okay so once you have done that you have to copy the image link so you go here right click under the share copy link and go back to your excel sheet under the picture you have to copy the URL. So first is CW. I will mention here CW and I will copy the URL here. Next is PW. I'll again go here under the share, copy link, paste it here and it is PW. Copy link and paste it here and name it as PW. Lastly, you have TW. So now you have added the code and the URL. A special URL link will be generated from this Excel sheet that you can use it in Power BI to display your image here. So go to the last column, you can see the final link. This is your special link that you're gonna use. So to do that now, I'll save this now for instant. And I need code, code description as well. This you will get from your P6. I'll go to P6 under the enterprise activity codes. 
I need all this code here, copy it and I'll paste it here. I'll get a color column, I don't need that, I'll delete it. So you have code value, SW, TW, PW and your shaft description. So this is all you need to do for now. I'll save this sheet and I'll open Power BI. When you open Power BI, you can open a blank report here. I'll go to get data, get our Excel sheet into Power BI now. This is the Excel sheet that we, we have been working on. I'll just click on it and open. So it will, you have to load all three sheets that we have made and go to transform data for instance. Once you are into transform data, you, have, you can see under program, it has taken all the header. So everything is all right. You don't need to change anything here. Just if you want to change the finish date here, you can change it by date and time. It will take as date and time. It will give some error. So you can just ignore those error or just keep it as date. Okay. I'll change this as date as well. And under pictures, you have seen that the row is not transferred to the upper columns. So I will just click here and use first row as header. That's all. And under the code description, I'll do the same as use first row as header. So these changes have been done. I'll close, hit close and apply and apply the changes here. It will take some time to load all your data from Power Query to your Power BI. And I'll just hit close and everything has been loaded here. It had some error because of the formulas that showed some error, but it doesn't matter here for now. So I'll go to table. There's one important thing here that we have to do under the pictures table. So our final link is the key link that you're gonna use to display the image. So this column, it has to be changed the data category as web URL. So this is important. If you will not change this, it will not work here. Now I'll go to relationship. I have to link this table as well in order to dynamically see the pictures here. To do that, I know our code value should be linked to code ID. As you can see here, it has the same. So code value is linked to code ID here. Save and here the pictures will link to code ID or the code value as well. So save. So this is the link is completed here. I'll go back to Power BI dashboard and I will, I will download first a special visualizer that will help you visualize the image here. To do that, you just have to click on three dots and get more visuals. And I will search for simple image. Here it is. And I will add it here to our Power BI. You can see the visual is added. I will click on this visual. I'll make it big. And under the image URL, as I told you, we have to use final link as your image URL. So I'll copy this, drag it and put it in image URL here. So now that you cannot see the images here, you have to add a slicer here to see your desired image. So to do that, I'll add a slicer here. I'll just click here and add a slicer and I'll move the description to the slicer and I can see if I'll click on chamber work, it will show me the image of the chamber work here. Similarly, if I'll click on tunnel work, it will show me the image of the tunnel work as well here because the image name is linked to the code here and I can add lots of things here. I can add the activities also that are included here by just adding the table. Like if I'll add a table here and I can add activity ID to it and activity name and it will show me the start date and the finish date as well and once you filter it the activities also get filtered and the image also get filtered to it so you can get the idea of what work is going on here hope that was helpful to you and you can download all the links from the description below and follow along with me see you again thanks for us 
Hey, we just launched a brand new Power BI course. You can find all the details in the link below this video. Head over to planacademy.com and check it out. If you like this video, give us a like and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.